Greetings! I'm Darvain and welcome back to Let's Play Elder Scrolls. Now if you remember we were in let's see we were in Fanglair. Am I right? Yep, we were about to enter the central area of, of this level. So let's get to it. There's lots of lava. Yeah, unfortunately I've only got one resist fire potion, so let's so scat around the outside first. There's a whole bunch of skeletons. If you look on the map, see, I haven't seen this, but yeah, we seem to have the kind of that looks like it's a door up there. We well, seem to be in this area where we have. A nice little well. Basically, there appears to be it's like there's wings on the side. But I don't know what they do with anything, so I'm going to explore them anyway. Just to build the map in. Okay, there's another one. Because it seems they are. They're useful for extra experience for a star. So Okay, so we look at this map now. We should have both sides revealed yet. With whatever, some obviously something in there. There's absolutely nothing ominous about this door at all. Okay, simple question for the feet. What is neither fish nor flesh, feathers nor bone, but still have fingers and thumbs of its own? What did they answer, mortal? Well, this is a classic riddle, and the answer is a glove. OK. 
Okay. So we got some fire breathing. You know what? A ring of wizards fire, potion of stamina. Potion of wizards fire. I need to look like hellhounds and basically put because I've used my potion of resist fire. Hellhound. Okay. Let's claim our prize then. The first piece of the staff of cousin business. Okay. That's good, we'll add that. Now we get to leave this lovely little place. So we can say goodbye to Fang Flare. I'm not going to explore anymore. We've got the Star of Chaos. Okay, so now we leave this dungeon completely. That was not good. Hmm. Thank you. 
Yay! Hey, level experience, yay! Let's see how we're doing. What do we want? Hmm. Not sure, but I thought I may sell the Grab a magic defense. Um, but we'll go with a bit more agility, I think. It ain't going to make much difference. So we're doing well, I mean, that's fine, just making our way out of the dungeon now. And then we can decide what we're going to do next. Purification. Mm. So, I had to use my ring of fire. Basically, because I'm paralyzed now. I can go and collect all the loot again. Won't be much. Shouldn't have thought. There's enough that we can go and get the loot and make our way back. It's been a while so I can't actually remember where all the uh, loot is. Remember this bit. Really? Put that goddamn troll. I will not be best matched. As you can see, just escaping one of these dungeons can be can be difficult enough. Now, I'm not entirely sure what you want me to do. I can, I could. So I, mean, I could move on to try and do the next piece of the uh, staff, which basically you need to repeat the same thing again. You've got to do, go find where it is.
on the first piece of the stack. That in and of itself is not a simple task. Barnet Davy is not as concerned with you as I have thought you would be. Perhaps he thinks you dead or lost in the sewers from which you escaped. That is well, for I have discovered the second piece's location. There was once a great maze built by the Archmagus Jalador to guard what he called Glamour, the elven term for the secret of life. I know not the location of the great maze, which was called the Labyrinthian, but somewhere in its twisted corridors lies the second piece of the staff of chaos. Galador, according to the old text, made his home in the fortress of ice. He would not have built the Labyrinthian far from his home. I would search to the north for such a place. I wish you well on your journey. Okay, so as I was saying, don't really know where it is, we can go looking for it, and the same way, find where it is, find who got the information, go through and uh, do the dungeons, no we want to get out of here don't we, there's the exit, Hmm. So there's no straight way, as far as I can tell. If I remember, this is the one where you get to go down the. Yeah. Get to come down the mine shafts. Go down the mine shafts. We go. Take a lot of time to get to work. Because there should be one over there. Alternatively, I could take a deep. Where my job? E could take a detour and do basically try and do some leveling, or maybe find an artifact. Ooh, don't know. Who knows? Yeah, there's a number of options I could do. I've shown you breaking and entering, yeah, that should be fine. So we we'll might go into the wilderness, do another breaking and entering spree. Mm. Shaft A. Mm -hmm. 
to go there. I suppose if I really wanted to, I could mark on, spend time marking on the map, say where the loot is. Yeah. To be honest, you can find pretty much loot anywhere if you're going to go look for. If you want to go look for loot, just go look for loot, you know. It's not one of those games where you're going to be in danger of missing out if you don't get all of the loot in a specific dungeon. Especially given the random nature and the fact that you can just leave. And if you're lucky enough to find, for example, a fang there where there's a nice bit of loot in that door, you could just if you really want to load up. Side passages. You know, not really in the mood to actually look, look, to be honest. But like if you see that over here, for example, this is right by the entrance. So right now we're out. Okay, we can get out now. Uh, uh. So where are we going? Well, let's go back to town. I think we're in Hammerfell. We're over here. Let's go back to Belpeth Guard. Yeah, I arrived in a town that seemed strangely, strangely quiet. Well, of course, it looks not time. Well, we know there's a major's guild there. Uh, the Dirty Sword. Dirty Sword. Let's head towards the Dirty Sword. And I'm not in the mood to go breaking and entering at this point. Uh, let's get to the tavern. Get things sorted out. Very right, dirty sword. Three rolls of this thing. Oh. 
This is the best shot. Into the deck shot, switch from the play table, and up all right. Yay! Drink a fancy drink, I really want to express my gut geists. Yep. Let's have a rumor. See if there's anything general going on. Hmm. Let's see what time it is. It's midnight. Okay. Show you some burglarizing, shall we? Don't know if there's much worth burglarizing. House, any house, I don't know this one. The majors are out in force, I see. Not for long, no. It would be a miracle if you picked this lock. But I did pick it. You can see the entire map now. We're coming through the. Don't know if there's actually anything here worth having, but. Oh, it looks like there might be an attic here. Stumbled on the house one day. Hmm. Yeah, these are just. So if you fancy, you just want to just. Bookshelf. 
México. Just to point this diversion. For those times when you simply cannot. We're back outside. You see how quick that was? We'll cop back to. So theoretically, behind every single door, there's a dungeon here. Now we've still got our room, so we will rest into your hero. Come on, Alan, it's past. It's turn in the morning. So, gonna save it there. This has been Darvain doing Let's Play Elder Scrolls Arena. As always, if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And until next time, goodbye.